Reports say Nigeria's housing deficit currently stands between 17 to 22 million units and to bridge the deficit, at least 700,000 houses will be built every year over the next 20 years. A journey of a thousand miles, they say, begins with a step with government playing a huge and crucial role. Vice President Yemi Oshibadu says, besides fixing the housing deficit, government must also provide the capital to de-risk single-digit mortgage lending by banks to grow the economy, this he says, would encourage more private investments, including Nigerians in diaspora. Commissioning the iconic villa, a joint venture with Odua Investments, the vice president commended governors of Ogun, Oyo, Oshu, Ondo, Ikiti, and Lagos states for contributing the quarter to urban renewal generation. So it is entirely possible for us to do mass housing on the scale that we need to do it in order to make up the deficit. It's also entirely possible for us to do uh, affordable housing, housing that's a bit more middle class, and make it affordable for the middle classes, for the for people in the civil set, for teachers, and for private business people, through the de-risking facilities that the federal government and state governments can provide. Represented by his secretary to the state government, Governor Babajide Songwulu, alongside his brother governors, assured the people that the various state governments in the southwest are doing all they can, especially through the Odua Investment Company Limited, to develop the economy while bridging the housing deficit in the country. It is a fact that government alone cannot meet all the housing needs of the citizens. That is why our administration has embraced and is exploring more innovations and partnerships with the private sector to bridge the housing deficit in Lagos State. Coming from Lagos, there's this circular road that we have embarked upon is 110 kilometers. And when you get to Guru and you bear rock, you do not need to come to um, the a city center, if you are going to Shogo or Ife or Iwo or Pine to the north. Our forefathers, when they started Rudua, it was a large conglomerate. And we want to bring back those glories so that when our forefathers look down, they be praying for us that these young people. They are doing the same thing they were doing during their own time. Professor Yemi Oshibaju, the rafter inspected facilities at the 67 furnished and unfurnished housing units, the first phase of the iconic villa, which will have 200 more joining soon. Aditola Coyote, All TV News.